comes to graph number four, which is f of x equals negative 1 over x plus 5 minus 6. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, to do this, um, we could use a table, but I don't want to use a table of values, especially when I don't have to. Um, but as long as I can remember what the parent function is, all right, remember the parent function has two asymptotes. One asymptote is at y equals 0. The other asymptote is at x equals 0. And the parent function looks something like this. Right? Now, what they're asking us to do is to graph this with our transformation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use transformations. So remember, the general form of my equation looks like this. f of x equals a over 1 over x sorry, minus h plus k. Now remember, a tells me if I'm going to reflect or stretch or compress. Since my a in this case is negative, I know I'm going to have a reflection over the x-axis. Then my h, remember, tells me to shift left or right. So in looking at this, since I have plus 5, I'm going to shift left 5 units. And the last one, k, tells me to go up or down. So then this one is going to be shift 6 units down. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to take this parent graph, all right? I'm going to reflect it over the x-axis. And then I'm going to shift it 5 units to the right and five and 6 units down. Does that make sense? All right. So or 5 units to the left and then 6 units down. Now, rather than trying to do everything at one time, the first thing I like to do is, rather than trying to move this graph, because this graph looks kind of confusing, right? The easiest thing to shift, ladies and gentlemen, are the asymptotes. So it says I need to shift 5 units to the left. So we know there's an asymptote at y equals 0. Let's just shift that 5 units to the left. So now I have it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what I've done is I've shifted the asymptote 5 units left. We know there's another asymptote at y equals 0. Left, let's shift that down 6 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, those, now we have our two asymptotes. And we need to know what is the reflection going to look like. If I took this graph and reflected it over the x-axis, I would now have a graph that's going to look something like this. All right, um, And then you could obviously confirm that by plotting in some points to see exactly what those values would be. Right, Two points to the left and then two points to the right. Correct? OK. 